Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my sixth genetic mini video on developmental pathways. And it's going to be based on characters in the Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. So here we have our developmental pathway. And real quick, I'm just going to explain some things. Aro and Jane are bad guys. They're members of the Volturi, and the Volturi are the antagonist of the Twilight Saga. Whereas Bella, Alice, and Edward are in the same uh, coven. Alice is Edward's sister, and Bella is Edward's wife. So all of these characters represent different gene products, and these different gene products are going to interact to produce a certain uh, phenotype. And in this case, it's going to be whether RO is expressed or not. And in other terms, it means whether we're able to defeat RO or whether he wins. And we don't want him to win because he's the bad guy. So these different gene products can either suppress each other or activate each other um, to get this end result. So in this case, we see we have a T-bar between Bella and Jane. This means that Bella suppresses Jane, and we know that in the Twilight Saga, Jane has a power to look at people and make them feel pain, but Bella has a shield power, and she can project that shield uh, for herself or for her friends, so she suppresses Jane's power. But over here, we have an arrow, meaning Alice activates Edward, because Edward has the ability to read minds, but Alice has the ability to see uh, the future once decisions have been made. So Edward can kind of see into Alice's mind and see what's going on as well. Um, meaning like Alice kind of, you know, helps Edward out, which is why she activates him. All right, so in our normal developmental pathway, Bella suppresses Jane. When Jane is suppressed, she cannot suppress Alice, which leaves Alice activated. Alice is able to activate Edward, and when Edward is activated, he's able to suppress Aro, so Aro is not transcribed, and this is what we want. We do not want Aro to be transcribed. In a single mutant situation, when we take out Bella, that leaves Jane activated. When Jane is activated, she suppresses Alice, but when Alice is suppressed, she cannot activate Edward, and when El Edward isn't activated, he cannot suppress Aro. That means that Aro is transcribed. In a double mutant situation, if we take out Bella and Jane, then we see that Alice remains activated, meaning she can activate Edward, and Edward can suppress Aro. So when Edward suppresses Aro, that means he's not transcribed and we do not see that phenotype expressed. So here's a review of what we just talked about with all the situations. And then here's my references. Thanks for watching.